With the genetic sequencing, which is clearly the way forward for breast cancer therapy, um, many centers are looking to identify genetic mutations that may give us ideas of which drug therapies may be the most ideal for those patients. Having the immortalized cell lines will allow us to test those drugs that we think are good candidates in the immortalized cell lines and in the mice, rather than needing to test those in women. And this will give us additional information so that we can bring the drugs with the highest benefit to women into the clinical care of the patients in the future study. Initially, when you talk to patients about this approach, they can be somewhat um, apprehensive or scared about this because the standard approach in the past has always been surgical resection first. But for most of my patients who undergo chemotherapy prior to surgery, they're usually very pleased at the time that they come to their surgical resection because the lump in their breast that they could feel or the sometimes very large tumor or lymph node under their arm has really decreased in size. And they say, yes, I felt my tumor shrinking. I knew the chemotherapy was working. Um, and so this is a very exciting way forward for the patients and importantly for the physicians that treat that patient. It really gives us a lot of information about their outcome. Those women that have no cancer remaining in their um, breast at the time that we undergo surgical resection, we know usually do very well. Whereas those patients that do have residual disease in the breast can be um, targeted for further therapy and um, we can help know more information regarding their prognosis.